Hey there friends, Bobby here today. Hey folks, uh, we've got our roof here marked off, chalked off, and we're ready to start laying some shingles. And this is the area that a lot of folks might have some questions on is how do you get started? Where do you, where do you lay your first shingle at? So I'm gonna show you in this little video. Um, we're gonna have a uh, starter row down here across the bottom, all the way down, and up the top on each side. So let's start with just that starter shingle. Okay, now look at this shingle here. And you can see that I've cut a half a tab off of here. Now, the reason I cut the half a tab off the very first starter shingle that you lay, because we're going to start with a full shingle on the bottom. So after this one here is nailed in place, and let me show you how I lined it up. So we've cut a half tab off of it. So we want it flipped upside down, lined up on our 30 inch mark and on our uh, first 10 inch mark here, okay? Let's go ahead and pop a couple nails in it. And let's see, now down here, I don't want to put one in this very corner. I just want to come up kind of high right here on the shingle tab, right there near the edge. Just something to kind of hold it. That's our first starter shingle. Now the reason that we wanted that starter shingle that way is because from here on out, there'll never be a break, you see, on the starter shingle. It'll always be six inches, so your roof will always have coverage for the water to shed down off this first one. That's the main purpose of the start shingle. Now let's go ahead and lay one. I'm gonna have to step up on the roof here. I've got my daughter here filming today. She's doing a wonderful job. And let's go ahead and lay our starter shingle. Remember, turn around backwards, put it on your 12 inch line, okay? And just butt it up against the one that you just nailed down. Let's pop a couple nails in it. And there's your starters already laid there. Now, let's lay our very first shingle, okay? We're gonna take a full shingle, take a full one, and we're gonna lay it right down here. We're gonna line it up on our 36 inch mark, okay? Put it on the 12 inch or 10 inch line at the top and put it on your 36 inch line. Pop the nails in it. Now remember, don't nail down here because we still haven't run our other shingle underneath here yet. So don't, uh, don't nail that into that one yet. Over here, up high again. All right, there we go. Now we have, another, grab another shingle that has a six, a six inch half of the tab cut off and lay it up here. Now look here folks, we will line it up on the 30 inch line, but we don't have a line. We didn't chalk our lines every five inches. 10 inches is good enough. Now what you wanna do, you see where your tabs come up here at? Where the peak of that tab is, you want the bottom of this shingle. So on these in-between lines, in-between shingle rows, you'll just simply line up the uh, bottom of the shingle that you're laying with the peak of these tabs here, okay? And I'll uh, go ahead and nail that shingle down, all right? Now, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Marie, get the camera down here. Get a little closer on this shingle. Focus in this area right here. What I'm talking about, folks, is when you're lining that shingle up, the one that you don't have a line for, right here where this peak is and this peak here, just line the, t the bottom edge of that shingle, okay? On those in-between lines, that's what I'm talking about. Now, now that we have this, see if we had our starter shingle here run and another shingle laid, we could lay another one here. So uh, basically, this is how you get started. The next shingle that would go on would be a full shingle. You line it up on your 36 inch mark and your uh, 10 inch line right there and go ahead and nail it nail it in the high corner right there and uh don't nail this because we still got to feed in here okay but as we carry these runs out we can just work our way all the way up the roof folks that's how you get started on a uh three tab roof um i hope the video was helpful Thank you for watching today, and we will see you next time. Take care.